Teacher Mika! <laughs> hey, Teacher Basti! You surprised me! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, are you busy? You look that you're writing something. Well, I am writing a song, but I'm having a hard time thinking of other lyrics. Hmm. Whoa! What an awesome plant! Oh, thank you. I am taking care of it. It's a gift for my mom's birthday. Aw, that's really sweet. <laughs> hey, guys! Hey, oh. Teacher Steph! Hey, Teacher Steph! Oh, by the way, I heard that your dog, Phoebe, got sick. How is oh. she? Oh, she was so sick last week, but she's okay now. Oh, we're so happy to hear that, Teacher that's great. Steph. <laughs> oh, teachers, we forgot something. The kids and the grown ups, they're watching. Let's say hi. Hey there. Hi. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Next Gen Live. Woo! <laughs> I'm Teacher Mika. I am Teacher Basti. And I'm Teacher Steph. Before anything else, let's first open in prayer. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for another day to learn more about you. Thank you that we can know you more through your word in the Bible. Help us to have teachable hearts and listening ears as we listen to your word today. We love you. In your precious mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Kids, our last series was about rediscovering how God wants us to show our love to others through our action. And starting this week, our new series will be about da -da -da -da, stewardship. So what is stewardship? Stewardship means we use well and take care of everything God has given us. In other words, stewardship is taking good care of something, even if you really don't own it or it doesn't belong to you. Oh, just like this plant that I'm taking care of. And just like Fifi, my dog. You got it right. Wait, you hear that sound, kids? It's Memory Verse time! Our new memory verse for this series is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. Kids, why don't you read it with me? 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. As each has received a gift, use it as good stewards of God. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. Now, let's do it with some actions. Are you ready? Okay. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. As each has received a gift, use it as good stewards of God. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. Awesome! Hey, Teacher Mika. You told me earlier that you're writing a song. Hmm, yeah, I'm writing a song. Wow, can you hear the song that you are writing? Well, it's still not complete. Well, you can sing whatever you have there. Right, Teacher Vesti? Right. Okay, I'll sing it for you guys. Let me get my ukulele. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so the song goes like this. <clears throat> God created everything He made the heaven and the earth and so I sing Teacher Mika? Yes, maybe we can help you to complete your song, right, Teacher Steph? Yes, we would love to help you. Aw, really, guys? Of course. I'm so glad you guys came by. Oh, you know what? That is our Bible lesson for today. It's about God's creation. Kids, hope you have your Bibles ready. Remember, stay on your seat, 
obey, watch, and listen. Have you ever thought about how many days or how long God created all the things? Can you raise both your hands and guess by showing your fingers the number of days God created all things? Maybe three? Hmm, oh, I see a 10. Maybe six? Well, we will learn in our lesson today from the first book in the Bible, Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 31, and chapter 2, verses 1 to 3, and verse 15. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The Spirit of God was moving over the face of the waters. God created out of nothing. God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. He called the light day and the darkness night. There was evening and morning the first day. On the second day, God called the dry land earth and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. He separated the waters and he saw that it was good. There was evening and morning the second day. On the third day, God created the plant life. He made green plants, all kinds of flowers, trees, and trees with fruits too, each according to its kind. And he said, it was good. There was evening and morning the third day. On the fourth day, God created the sun, moon, and stars. He made these so we can be reminded of God's creative work. God saw that it was good. There was evening and morning the fourth day. On the fifth day, God created the fish according to their kinds and the birds according to its kinds. There was evening and morning the fifth day. On the sixth day, God created living creatures according to their kinds. And God said, let us make man in our own image, after our likeness. And man immediately became the highlight of the sixth day and of the whole creation week. Humans are very much different from all his creations. God saw everything he made and it was very good. There was evening and morning, the sixth day. The heavens and the earth were finished. And on the seventh day, God finished his work that he had done and he rested. So God blessed it and made it holy. Genesis chapter 2 verse 15 tells us that God took the man and commanded him to work and take care of all his creation. Hi, amazing story about God created everything and everything belongs to him. That's right. We also learned that God created us so we can work and take care of all his creations. Correct. And that brings us to our big idea. We are a steward of God's creation. I am a steward of God's creation. Say it with us, kids. I am a steward of God's creation. Remember, stewardship means we use it well and take care of everything God has given us. Teacher Nika, I think we can now add words to your song. Oh yes! You know what? As I was retelling the story, God gave me wisdom to complete the song. Yeah! Yes. We're so excited to sing it with you. Are you guys ready? So the song goes like this. Darkest night. Light as a day, and the darkest night. 
Jesus bear fruit. He made the sky and the birds that are flying so high. He placed the sun, moon, and the stars in the night. And God made all people. So watch and care for all he has made. Taking care of all he has made. He's the owner of everything. He's the owner of so fun! <laughs> Thanks! Hey, Teacher Stuff! Are you okay? How can someone thank God and take care of things that He made if they don't believe that He created everything and everything belongs to Him? You see, while we are commanded by God to take care of His creation, it is important for us to understand that God created us not just to take care of His creation, but more importantly, to enjoy a loving relationship with our Creator, and that is God. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God, sin entered our world and separated us from God. This is not just a physical separation, but a separation from God forever. That means even after death. But in God's goodness and kindness, He made a wonderful plan for all of us. He made a way so we can enjoy a loving relationship with Him once again. Do you know who that way is? God sent Jesus Christ, His only Son, as His way of saving us from our sin. And connecting us back to Him. And the story doesn't end with Jesus just saving us from our sins because God has promised to make the whole world new, perfect, and beautiful in His time. The Bible teaches us of this wonderful plan of the future. Do you want to enjoy a loving relationship with God and learn how to take care of His creation? I invite you to pray this prayer with me. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for creating everything. Thank you for giving your Son, Jesus, to save me from my sins. Please forgive me of my sins. Today, I receive Jesus in my life. Lord, Please also help me to enjoy a loving relationship with you so I can take care of everything you created. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now that you have Jesus in your life, Welcome to God's Family! Discuss the questions that will be flashed on your screen and share what you have learned today. See you next week!